Microsoft has released Windows 10 Mobile Build 10166 today. We're going to give you a quick tour and show you what's new. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Dan Rubino here with Windows Central and we got the latest build of Windows 10 Mobile here, 10166. It just came out today for those on the Insider program. And overall, it's not a huge change in the sense that there are really no new features. This is kind of feature locked, but we do see those a big improvement in terms of performance. Uh, one of those, of course, it's gonna be a little hard to see here, I suppose I can zoom in, is the new battery icon, which is now larger. So a lot of people are complaining that the previous one was too small. And so Microsoft has basically returned it to its previous incarnation of Windows Phone 8.1, at least that's how it seems to me. Other than that though, the OS is just much faster, smoother. I know it's kind of, uh, you know, generic to say, but that's really what it comes down to. As you can see here, when I launch an app, just how quickly it goes. Um, really nice, I haven't really seen any like resuming screens or black screens or anything like that. In fact, uh, let me launch, let's see, I'll do the news app, as you can see right there. And now it's going to pull down some data and there it goes. That was from a clean boot. So that was actually nothing uh, previously loaded. And you can see basically how fast the storage load. Now some of this is dependent upon your internet connection as well. Uh, other than that though, the store itself has been returned to uh, out of beta, so it launches a little bit faster, and people who are having issues with downloading apps should be a lot better right now, uh, especially if you're getting stuck on things, that should be fixed. That doesn't mean the store is perfect, I think there can still be some more optimizations here. I'd still like to see some more information included uh, in these listings, including the latest build and things like that, but being that it's an app now, it can update itself technically, which is always kind of a weird thing. So we should be able to see more improvements coming to the store itself. Another thing I want to point out is a new wallet app is now available and this came out today. But with the previous build, when you went to go to store, it would actually crash. But look at this now pulls up actual apps that will work with the new wallet so that is pretty cool uh, so those will integrate now with the operating system and we'll give that a shot later and see how that works as well but uh, we'll put the link for the new wallet app into this post one other neat thing that's working a lot better now is going to be under the photos app uh, before if you added new photos or try to check the collection it was always a little bit slow it was actually kind of annoying but now everything seems to be working much more fluid so here when i launch the app you can see it check the device for new photos but you'll see how quickly that goes overall the browser is pretty quick I haven't really had much issues with it uh, it doesn't seem too much different from uh, previous builds, but I'm sure there have been some improvements here and there. We can see here under settings, we got all the nice little changes. The animations, though, are probably what's more consistent now, and I really do appreciate that, uh, how it works. Here's Tweedium and how quick that goes as well. So overall, really good build. I think if you are waiting to jump onto Windows 10 Mobile, this build will probably be the one you want to get onto. This does match now the desktop which is also at 10166. So that's kind of the first time this has actually happened where both of them are lining up, which means Windows 10 Mobile is definitely coming along very quickly. And if you're on this build, you know, you're going to update to another one soon enough, and eventually you'll get the RTM build. So that's always a cool thing to consider. But there you go. Head to Windows Central for more information and tell us what you think. Take care, everybody.